Hi guys, welcome to Garden on Hill where we talk about easy home gardening. My name is Vin and in this channel I talk about things that made my life easy in the garden. Today we're going to talk about French breakfast radishes which I always plant every year because they are so easy. If you are a full-time employee, you have a full-time job and you like gardening on the side, what made my life easy, this is a channel where I share those tips. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share button. So anytime I upload something new, you get notified. Anyway, it has been 40 days and these are my French breakfast radishes. I did change a couple of things this year. I'm gonna put a link to the detailed seed to harvest that I did last year. Uh, and I'm gonna compare to what I've done this year. And I'm actually looking like it's gonna be a better harvest for me. So wanted to show you the differences. Uh, if you wanna look at the grow guide, it's basically this video that I'm linking, but then I kind of modified that this year to see if I get a different result. And then let's see what I have. So the first thing that I did differently this year is I changed the site of my radishes. I used to plant my radishes on that bed right there where those two whiskey barrels are and I move them here reason being is that this spot gets more sun so I did manage to move it here and it looks like the leaves are much bigger and I thought it was gonna be too hot but it looks like they do like the more sun uh, the other thing is that on that previous bed by there I started at February 25 which was still in the 40s 50s if you think about it and this I planted March 5th this year which about 50s 40s to 60s I would say it's a little warmer in March so it's you know almost about 15 days later and it looks like this is better so with the new site the Sun that's changed and also the dates change looks like I'm getting better yields this year I also used chicken manure here as my soil medium and then that bed over there had a homemade compost one thing that I didn't do this year since this already has chicken manure and compost in it I didn't mulch it and the last bit I did mulch it looks like it works better so let's take a look at these radishes closely before we harvest them so I also planted more densely this year instead of doing six inches apart for rows and then three in inches apart per seed I did a three by three so basically three inches apart everywhere it's like a square and look at this look at all these radishes they are huge and I'm happy again it's 40 days same harvest time as the last radishes that I had but definitely much healthier much bigger much better yield this year look at these looks good small ones definitely much bigger this year there are also small ones like this which I think was my harvest last year this was probably gonna be my biggest harvest from last year but look at this year look at that I just finished a third of the bed and look how much I already have
look at this, it's safe to say that the changes I made this year definitely affected the harvest of my radish. So you can see I have about six bunches. I guess each bunch has about 20 to 30 pieces and they range between very small like one inch to like four, five, six inches. So varying sizes but all look great, all look good. I have six bunches here. I already gave another bunch to my neighbor. So you know you can share this. 40 days, not really bad. If you have learned something today, hopefully you stay tuned on my next episodes and hopefully you try these French breakfast radishes. Come on, let's eat them fresh or let's roast them.